Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. Today I want to take a quick look at a mod that I've been using on my personal playthroughs uh, on maps like Texas, which is where we're at, by the way. And there's no better place to show you this mod uh, outside of Texas and a huge map because it's a mod that gives you a road train. So you need a big map. This isn't going to work on one of your little European maps. Um, these are the trailers and the trucks that make up the road train. Let's take a look at them one at a time. Uh, you've got two versions of the truck. You've got a, a twin axle and a, and a uh, tri-axle. You've got the dolly that goes with it because you want to be able to hook up all your trailers. You have animal transportation trailers, both uh, trailer A and B. You've got a flatbed A and B, you've got logging A and B, and you have tanker A and B. Now, I didn't do a tanker. Let me grab the tanker. Let's see here. Road train, oversize. Let's grab a tanker. There's one right there. I'm just going to buy the B trailer to let you look at it. And we'll show. I'll show you the options in a minute. I'm just going to go with the standard right now just to show you. Okay, and the reason why I didn't have uh, tankers here is because I have tankers hooked up over yonder. Uh, the other thing I didn't have hooked up... Oh, wait a minute. I forgot another trailer. I'm going to show you these in a minute, but I want to show you what they look like uh, in their basic form. Let's grab this bulk transport trailer. I'm just going to do the standard. i show the options in a minute. All right, so there. There you go. So you've got, uh, again, your logging, your flatbed, your animal transport and your tanker and your bulk transport this is what they look like generic just like this and the tanker the same it's kind of plain jane looking like that okay so what we're going to do is i want to go in and show you the options for these and um, let's start with the trucks let's see we'll go in here we're going to go over here You've got this one, which is a dual axle. And if you notice, there's quite a few options and upgrades for it. The first one is the, uh, is whether you just want to use it as a truck and not a, uh, a road train. So you can do semi only. So what that means, you can just hook one trailer to it and that's it. Uh, if you just want to use it on your farm and very, they're very nice trucks. You may want to just do that on a smaller farm. Um, add high or low hitches or semi-trailer only. So you can, you can make it so that it, uh, hooks up to other trailers if you like. The other one is the engine. You get a choice between the 535 horsepower or the 760. You can change the color. So you can make it any color you want. The wheel setup is either standard wheels or wide tires. You can change the rim colors if you choose to. You have the open chassis look. Or you can do the checker plate tray. That puts a, op there's the open chassis and it puts a skirt type thing on it, if I'm not mistaken. The design, you can either do stock parts or you can make them chrome. All right. And then we have the tri axle one. And this basically uh, has the same kinds of options. You can use it as a semi only or, or you can add the hitches. Uh, it's got a, this one does have a bigger engine. It starts at 760 and goes up to 1380. So you can get a bigger engine with the tri-axle. You can change the color. You can change it from wide tires to standard tires. You can change the rim colors and you can make it chrome parts. Okay. When we go to the, uh, logging trailers, you'll notice that the first trailer that goes behind the truck has a long, uh, axle there where it hooks up to the back trailer. So this back trailer here will hook directly onto this one. If you want, um, a third trailer, then you have to use the dolly because the dolly will hook onto the back of this trailer. So let's took, let, take a look at this one first. You have the standard attachers or back attacher. So if you just want one trailer, you got the standard or two trailers, you got the standard. You can use a back attacher if you want. Uh, wheel setup again, wide tires are standard, rim color. 
standard logging or UAL logging. And then the B trailer is just the same, the same thing, except for you can add this back stopper if you choose to. No rear stopper or rear stopper. Standard logging or UAL logging. Standard or back attacher, wide tires. There you go. The flatbed trailers are the same thing. You have the same choices, except for you can make uh, chrome parts here. A standard flatbed or a UAL flatbed. All right. And trailer number B, same thing. Same choices. The animal transportation. You can choose uh, whether you want the back attacher or not. You can change the color. You can change it to wide tires and rim colors. And the B trailer is the same. The tankers are a little bit different. Let's take a look at those. You can change and add the back attacher. You can change the color. You can change the tires to wide, rim color. Now here, you've got a design of generic fuel decals. Or you can choose Groovy Farm Simulator brand decals. Or you can set up a, for Mobile Oil, BP, Caltex, or Shell. Um, show fill type decals. Now what happens is, if, if you choose one of these, that's fine. If you choose this one, you can show them or not show them. This is two-tone, no, no uh, fill decals. So if you don't want to show the decals, you can choose not to do that. I know it's confusing. I'll show you in a minute what it literally looks like. The beat trailer is the same. Now let's go with the bulk. Again, you have the A and the B. You have standard attacher or back attacher color, uh, wide tires, rim. Show the fill decals. Hide the fill decals. Um, design color, you can change. And you can choose the cover of the trailer. You can either have it a black cover, or you can have the color match the color of the trailer, whichever uh, uh, color you chose. And the B trailer is the same thing. And then, of course, you have your dolling. So I set up a couple of these. Let's go take a look. I didn't do, um, I didn't do the logging, the flatbed, or the animal. I did the tankers and the bulk, and I'll show you what those look like. Now. Here is the bulk. It's a basic three trailer road train. You can put as many as you want or think you can haul, but there you go. Now, I did happen to put barley in this trailer, and it shows that it's transporting barley with the barley icon. I put potatoes in this one, and it shows potatoes with potato icon. I didn't put anything in this one, and that's what it looks like when you don't have anything in it. That's why I pulled this up over here so you could see what it looked like. Because when we get to the tankers, I, I filled the tankers. Well, I didn't fill them. I put stuff in the tankers, and so you wouldn't, weren't able to see what it looked like without decals. Okay, first of all, uh, I put water in this one, and there's what your water decal looks like. And I put liquid fertilizer in the back, too. I didn't mean to. Um, I, I went to put fertilizer in, and I put it in both and thought, well, wait a minute. I want to show them what a regular tank looks like. So that's why I pulled up that one over there. But as you can see, it shows that it's got liquid fertilizer in it. Now, interesting, too, is here. Each one has a, uh, a counter on it. You can tell I didn't put very much in it. I put a little bit more in this one, or less, and uh, the water. So you can tell how much is in it. And it's showing you down here that it's got water in it. Over here, it's showing you that it's got uh, pesticides for the fertilizer. Um, let's see. I Yeah, it does. See, th these have counters, too. So you can actually see from the outside how much is in them without having to jump in the truck, which is kind of cool. So there you go. There's the two road trains. Uh, let's see how they drive. Okay, so the tankers first. Let's take a little bit. Now, this has got the bigger engine in it. 
As you can see, they track pretty good. So you can easily get it in and out without too much trouble. They track really well. The, tr the trucks drive really well. Let's take a look from the inside. The detail's pretty nice. And you'll notice that when I hit the when I hit the brake or the accelerator, the gear shift starts moving around. That's kind of cool. Um, anyway, they drive pretty nice. Let me have you take a look at the tankers here. If you uh, let me put it on the first tanker. If I hit the N key, it opens the the uh, cover and puts the ladders down. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I love it. You can also change which side you want to fill or empty on. If you hit the U key, it'll it'll flip right now. It's on the left side and there's the right side, so you can change it. And you have a cab light either on or off. All right, let's go get the other one. Take a look at that. I want to show you how the covers work. All right, as you can see, I have barley in that one. I have potatoes in that one, and this one is empty. Now, this one has a little bit smaller engine, but it still seems to work fairly well. Now, when I bought it, I did buy it with the largest engine I could get. Thank God I turned the traffic off, huh? I'd have been creamed by now. Okay, so now let's take a look at the trailers on this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop up and uh, and put the cover on. Now notice on the trailer, you can see the covers right there, like it's been uh, closed accordion type. So when I hit the N key, it rolls the cover over. Now this is one I chose to be the same color as the as the uh, trailer. The next one back here. I didn't. I chose the black one. So let's see how it looks. So yeah, you can choose the color of the tra of the uh, trailer cover. So there you go. There's your road train. I will put a link to the web page in the description if you choose to purchase these for your own gameplay. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you back on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming.